Finally, we come to drag devices and the dead prop. Once again, these work together and uh, they can be explained together. So, drag devices represents the gear and the flaps, and in order to lower VMC, we want to extend these. How come? Well, <clears throat> let's find out. Suppose that you have an aircraft. Again, we'll go with two aircraft. Here's the aircraft from the back, and here's the same aircraft from the top in kind of a smaller picture. Here's an aircraft from the back, and here's the same aircraft again, uh, shortened a bit. So there we go. Same aircraft top down and from the back, top down and from the back. Now, uh, as always, we're going to say that uh, it's had an engine failure. Uh, the left engine has failed and the right engine continues to work. So the airplane is going to pull to the left. You've got asymmetric thrust turning you to the left in this case. Alright, you're going to step on the rudder and you're going to try to maintain directional control. Now, what's going to happen? Well, let's say that one of these aircraft has their gear and flaps deployed. We'll say that uh, the gear is deployed here and the flaps are deployed. I uh, pick a different color for that. We'll go with uh, orange. So we've got the flap deployed here and we've got the flap deployed here. Now, on this aircraft, uh, the aircraft which is clean, you've got your engine and your engine is running and the engine is causing the airplane to turn to the left. Over here, you've also got your engine. It's running, and it's causing the airplane to turn to the left. However, where you've got the disc of the prop here, and you've got the disc of the prop here, there's a difference. The difference is that on one of them, the airstream is moving directly backwards whereas on the other one the airstream is in some places moving directly backwards but in some places it's interrupted by the flap or by the gear so as it tries to come back you've got interruptions by the flap and by the gear which are hanging down into the relative airstream when this happens when you've got the flaps and the gear deployed you're going to increase drag and you're going to increase drag specifically on the right hand side. So your drag in this case is going to increase whereas over here it's going to essentially be negligible because the um, the prop isn't running. So you're getting no airflow over here other than the normal airflow which would be coming over the wings anyway. So you're getting extra drag over on this side. If you get extra drag over on this side of the aircraft where the center of gravity is right here what you're going to wind up with is you're going to wind up with a turning force away from the asymmetric thrust whereas over on this side you're going to not experience any drag uh, any additional asymmetric drag so you don't have the benefit of that additional um, asymmetric drag helping the rudder to oppose the asymmetric thrust not very difficult asymmetric drag um, let's get rid of this so you want the drag devices extended because the drag devices extended is going to increase asymmetric drag and that's going to help you or help the rudder better control the aircraft. Now, what about the prop? Well, the prop on the dead side, you're going to want it uh, screw that up again. You're going to want that to be feathered. And for the same reason. I uh, will delete that and we'll get one of these and let's see we draw again the aircraft two aircraft one here one here apparently I can't draw straight lines but not a big deal one engine failed one engine failed one engine working and cranking and this engine here working 
and cranking. Of course, there is going to be, as there always is, asymmetric turning tendencies. And of course, over here, asymmetric turning tendencies. Now, suppose that we do not feather uh, this prop. We leave this prop windmilling. So this prop remains windmilling. Whereas over here, we feather the prop. So the prop is now feathered. And, uh, and therefore, when it's feathered, it's creating less drag. You've got asymmetric drag going on on this side of the aircraft. You've also got some asymmetric drag coming over on this side, but not nearly as much because the prop is feathered. Well, when you don't have asymmetric drag acting on the center of gravity, you don't have nearly as much asymmetric turning tendency happening over here. I guess, um, let's undo that. There we go, that's a more realistic depiction. So, by feathering the dead prop, what you wind up with is you wind up with less asymmetric drag on the bad side, which means that you've got less asymmetric thrust in general, which means that there's less for your rudder to oppose. So, at all times, you want your dead prop to be feathered in order to lower VMC. And that really takes care of, uh, excuse me, I guess I should combine these two just to, crap, I should combine these two just to be complete. So you've got VMC, to lower VMC, center gravity should be forward, banks deeper, weight heavier, and these two act together, power lower, density altitude thinner, and these two are together. And then the drag device is extended, and the dead prop feathered, and these two act together. Really, that's it for lowering VMC. The critical engine, uh, technically, you want the critical engine to be operating. Um, but the reason why one engine is critical and the other engine is not critical is a subject for a different series. So for now, you can just basically say that you want the critical engine operating at all times. And really, that's the VMC section of the VMC table.